Welcome to No Knife Farmhouse. I'm Leanne, and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. If that sort of thing interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And today, we are in for a treat. And I'm not talking about any trick-or-treating. We're talking about Hershey's Perfectly Chocolate Cake. In the slow cooker, and not only that, we're gonna put a pecan pie topping on that. Oh, it is so good. I have taken this, just the chocolate cake part to two fellowship meals and not one piece comes home either time. So, you know, it might be good. And if you tried any of my recipes, you know I'm not giving you some same old, same old recipe. This recipe I'm excited to make, especially for Mouse Toes, when she said her favorite dessert is chocolate lava cake. This takes chocolate lava cake and puts it in an easy to do for anybody. You just have to cook this cake on three hours and you got the fudgiest pudding, pudding cake you ever have. And this video is part of Crocktober. I'm so excited to be a part of this collaboration that Jenny Goth has put on at Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen. I look forward to this collaboration every year, even before I became a YouTuber creator. Just go ahead and make sure you're watching all the videos in this collaboration, commenting, and on November 1st, Jenny's gonna draw two winners for prizes from all the random comments from this collaboration. So, and make sure you go check out the list of collaborators down below, and. And make sure to subscribe and watch all these wonderful channels. They sure would appreciate it stopping by and saying, hey, Leanne sent me. And I'm going to leave you a printable recipe card down in the description box for you to enjoy this wonderful cake for your next social gathering. All right, I'm done talking. Let's get it made, shall we? To make Hershey's Perfectly Chocolatey Cake, we're going to need flour, sugar, two eggs, Hershey's cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, salt, vanilla, milk, oil, and boiling water. And I just have it on the stove waiting to go here. First, we're going to grease our crock pot. Since I'm out of spray, and it's not really good for you, but I just love having it on hand. We're just going to use regular oil and a paper towel because we don't want stickiness, especially when you're taking it to a fellowship meal like I am. And we'll set this aside. All right, into a medium-sized bowl, we are going to add our dry ingredients. Two cups of sugar. One, two, and one and three-fourths cup of flour. One cup, a half a cup, and a quarter a cup, make three-fourths. Then we need three-fourths of a cup of cocoa powder. And I always sip my cocoa powder, because cocoa seems to have lumps. So I just use a sieve and tap it. So I just have to be mixing up in a bowl. And another fourth. My measure cup has a half mark on the half, so I know it's a quarter of a cup. Then we need one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. The teaspoon and the half. And the baking soda, one teaspoon, and the half a teaspoon. Teaspoon of salt. We want to whisk these to combine. Then in a small bowl, we're going to whisk together our eggs, our vanilla, our oil, and our milk. I'm just gonna 
twist these a little bit just to give them a head start. Now we're going to add our milk. And the oil. And remember when I got this bottle of vanilla? I think it was almost almost six months ago. Let's make sure I shake it. I don't know if that means uh, I like to bake or... Then we're going to mix this well to combine. Alright, and my water to start boiling. We're going to add that in to our wet ingredients. our dry ingredients and we're going to mix well. And then knock the powder chocolate onto the counter. All right. You think just using a bowl I will get away from making messes? Nope. I would say at least stir it two minutes. I hope you've been loving Cracktober as much as I have. Let me know whose video you liked watching the most and what recipe you're going to try first if you haven't already tried some since we're at the end of the month. That looks amazing. Now we're just going to plug in our crock pot. And I've done it in other sizes and dimensions. I just prefer this way. Then we're just going to carefully pour our batter into the crock pot. Now you're going to want to put the lid on and we're going to bake this for three hours on low. And if you don't want the topping that we're going to put on, you can just bake it for th or cook it for three hours. But the topping we're going to add, we're going to add that on at the two hour mark and then cook it for another hour. All right, we'll see you then. All right, we are going to make our pecan pie topping and I'm going to weigh a few of the ingredients just because I don't want to have to measure that twice. All right, we're going to add our stick of melted butter into this bowl. Or I think just weighing it into the bowl saves me a measuring cup. And since I've done my share of dishes today, we're going to spare one. All right, so there's one stick of melted butter. Then we are going to clear this out and measure out 493 grams of corn syrup, which is the equivalent of one and a half cups. Oh, I'm not even close. All right, now we are. That bottle. Then we're gonna need a cup and a half of brown sugar. And with my half measure, I'll just measure this three times. This is basically the same ingredients you would use to make sticky buns. All right, we'll stir to, to combine. That looks like pecan pie without the pecans, but we'll take care of that right now. And since these are half, I probably should chop some up. Just a rough chop. I think we'll put one cup in the mixture, then 
fill in the gaps with the other cup. No, it doesn't that look great? And look at it so far. Yummy, yummy. Alright, and we're going to put this on. back on and cook it for another two hours all right it is the moment of truth the time where we'll taste test this it is so gooey and ooey and with a scoop of ice cream and since we're friends now I think you should have the first bite I mean look at it it just looks so delicious who am I kidding? You took too long, so I'm going to try the first bite. I'm sorry about that. I really didn't mean to. But I'll make it up to you with a pile of ice cream on top. Here we have grape nut ice cream. I think it's just the thing in this area because they just don't serve grape nut ice cream all across the country. Thanks so very much for watching. If you're loving the content of this video, may I suggest you watching this next? Take care and God bless.